Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're being on Raid Shadow Legends. As per usual, we're here in the world of Raid Shadow Legends. Today we're going to be showing Epic Titan. This player has played the game for 39 days. And so this will be kind of like a semi-guide in a way. Uh, meanwhile, we're showing the account and stuff. Uh, so to accomplish this in a month, well, uh, 39 days, level 48 in 39 days. That's not bad. A little bit over a month old account. Uh, let's get right into it. So, um, I asked this person what they do. Like, I asked them, how much do they usually play? They say they play over 10 hours every day. Which definitely shows when being level 48 in 39 days. I don't think I was that, by far. And I used to play like 7 or 8 hours a day, but... I, I don't think that I that I got that far in, in that amount of time. But I, I used to play... 8 hours, sometimes even more, 10, 12, I think my record was 14 hours in a day, <laughs> like 13 or 14 hours, anyway, uh, so this is their Warlord, which they have um, 147 speed on, a good amount of health, he's looking kind of cool, uh, isn't the Warlord like based, yeah, attacks all enemies as a chance to pit people, skills and cooldown, I suppose, accuracy on him is nice, but yeah, he's, he's cool, he's cool, uh, actually no, uh, no speed boots. Uh, I know saying that, but yeah, interesting. And then we have a row bar. And also another question I did ask him is, uh, what do I? What does he do when he starts playing the game, in order to achieve these uh, champions right here? In order to get, or in order to get all of these these artifacts? Because as you can see, six star artifacts, five star artifacts, and you have uh, four star artifacts, five stars. Uh, and then on Paidma you have five star artifacts. Uh, and many of which is also plus 16, which is, as you guys know, early game is very expensive. It's even expensive for late game. Uh, and here you see there's a lot of banners and everything in, in just 39 days. And they say that they usually start by doing their daily clan activities. Uh, which gives them uh, 3 stars, which uh, you can see for yourself. It's just being online a lot. It is, what is it? Yeah, playing the game, battling the clan boss. Yeah, so they, they usually do that. Uh, and then I asked them what systems they're most interested in. And uh, they they say... Um, also, wh wh where do I farm? I, I, did, I, did, I should ask what do, they, what do they farm and stuff. And they say that they're uh, usually farming for better gear. So, aka, not too many levels. I suppose the farming gear also gives levels. But yeah, they, they're kind of mixing between... But I definitely can see that they have been farming a lot of gear, because there, there, there's a lot of good gear here, a lot of a lot of high star gears. Like like this, look at this as an example. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure that it's a nice combination between gear and uh, also just uh, silver. They also got Krilla Witch Arm, which is the new champion, which means they have done the tournaments and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, because they say yeah they work on competitions, which is the tournaments. And events, and uh, yeah, do, through doing that, they get like the new legendaries and stuff. So they have Krila and everything. Um, and then I also asked them what systems they're most interested in, and they mentioned that they really enjoy the arena, which I really respect. I respect that. I respect arena being the main priority. I really, I really like that. Actually, I like that a lot because arena is also my main focus in a way. My, 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 I'm the mo I'm super interested in, in, uh, in arena. So let's just do some arena for them. They're in bronze four again after 39 days. I don't know if they will win or not, uh, but I suppose we will, we will see. And while, while that's, uh, while, while, while we do that, uh, I asked them, also I shouldn't, I, I misclicked here. So I suppose uh, we use her. Attacks one enemy, removes all buffs, attacks all enemies. I think we'll probably do that, I would imagine. Anyway, yeah, we're the quickest. I didn't even look, I should really look at the... the puts people skills on cooldowns, right? Yeah, that's nice, but as you can see, they're resisting. Increasing the speed and everything. Yeah, I, I always take so much focus. But anyway, I asked them how much did I spend weekly, and they say over a hundred dollars a week is being spent for this. So if you're going to do, if you're going to go for that, then then you know kind of, kind of what kind of what you want to do, uh, which is cool. Or, or that, then then you know about how much they spent at least, then you can see see from there. And then I also asked uh, asked them. How many shards did it take to get these two legendaries? Because a Warlord, that's a Void 
That's a Void Legendary Champion. That's pretty insane, to be honest. Uh, also, uh, skill of... Yeah, let's just attack all enemies again. And yeah, let's just... Maybe we should focus on skill of the Drakes. Maybe that's the one I should focus on. <laughs> anyway, they said over $100 uh, a week. And then I also asked if they had any recommendations to new players. Because it's been a long time since I've been a new player. Let's be honest, it's been a very long time since I've been a new player. <laughs> Last I was a new player. Also, is that heal reduction? Because that's annoying. Yeah, sucks that I have heal reduction. I can't, I can't heal her, so yeah. Uh, attacks all the one enemy. Yes, let's take her out. I'm sure we could actually win if if I if I did more, but oh well, I suppose. I, I can heal, at least heal myself, which is nice. So yeah, now let's take her out. I think that we can probably win this, I would imagine. Uh, putting people's skills on cooldowns. Anyway, uh, and they said, uh, let's see here, um, re recommended by starting leveling your champions to level 60, which I rec definitely recommend as well. Uh, if you guys have seen any of my guides throughout the throughout time, you definitely, you, you will know that, uh, that I always recommend leveling up at least one main damage dealer to, to level... Uh, to, to level 60 because level six, a 6 star between a 5 star and 6 star champion is actually quite large. Yeah, the, the differences between those is actually quite large. So I definitely very, very highly recommend leveling up someone to level 60. And uh, yeah, so yeah. But then again, that also supports his, his farming gear and also leveling up. Um, so yeah, and then obviously, yeah. So he, folk, he said you should level up your champions to level 60. And after that, you should. Uh, after that, you should just farm gear and everything for them. And yeah, that's about it. So yeah, now let's just use this increase people's cooldowns. Yeah, this is a tanky team. We are actually. This is actually a nice tanky team. Thirty-nine day old team, I should say. Uh, yeah, let's just do damage to to Norag. I can go twice before he goes once. Uh, and then I also asked which starter he recommended. And he actually says that um, he began began with Elheim, but he never made her level 60 because he got a Robar. Uh, so, yeah, so then he made him uh, his first level 60, which is understandable. Uh, and then, uh, but he says Kale is probably the best starter. And I, rec I agree, Kale is the best starter, man. Kale is the best, man. Gotta love Kale, man. Also, yeah, I don't even... I don't even need to, to have Apothecary Live, I just need to do attack one here. So yeah, also he, he did get all of these uh, these two legendaries from 8 shards. So he opened up 8 shards, I don't know if it was in a true 2x event, probably. So he opened up 8 shards for these two legendaries, which is pretty cool, if you if you ask me. Uh, so yeah, that, that's pretty much pretty much it. Like he is a cool, 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 it's a cool account being in bronze for getting closer to silver one in just 39 days, especially in this arena climate where it's very difficult. But yeah, level 48 in uh, in 39 days. And oh, my bad, I opened up something on mistake, by mistake. But yeah, that, that's pretty much pretty much the account. I kind of wanted to see how quick the, the apothecary was. 210 speed, that's not bad. 210 speed, he can obviously be quicker with just um, the right stuff. You know, like speed stuff, but uh, yeah, this this <laughs> this is not a a takeover, so I won't really do anything about that. But yeah, that's not bad considering it's not full speed gear. What about this? Yeah, it gives some speed. It uh, gives man. He actually did a full glyph there. I think that probably was from the from the login, the glyphs from the login. So yeah, he's he's doing pretty well. And, uh, yeah, maybe we have... Yeah, he also asked me now if I have any recommendations to make his champions better. So, I would say always on a speed giver, uh, the main speed giver, which is at this scenario, apothecary, full speed set. As much speed in the substats as possible. And that's about it. Uh, don't care about the main stat. Even though the main stat is helpful and it's nice to have health or defense percentage, if you have something which gives more speed than the substat, I recommend doing that. Such as this chest plate right here, as an example. Uh, where is it? This one right here. 
it it's just better. It already gives speed. It's w worse in the sense that it just gives resistance. But at that point, you could also use a helmet giving this speed. If you upgrade this helmet, it could give 8 speed or 10 speed or whatever. Uh, and then also the shield and the weapon, you can also just put on, uh, let's see here. Currently no speed subset weapon, or shield I should say. Uh, subset speed, let's see here. Okay, so there's currently, yeah, there is a shield for speed. Then you also have here two speed, obviously having, I wouldn't upgrade three star artifacts to full level and everything. But yeah, just simple things like that. Just to be quicker, man. It's important, man. But yeah, your reporting area is tanky at the moment. And if you don't need them to be quicker at the point you're in the game, then it's fine. But if you often not notice people going before you, uh, speaking to Titan now directly in a way, uh, then definitely do speed. Uh, yeah, don't do speed, guys. Uh, but uh, yeah, you could, yeah, you, you, you decide your speed. Typically, the quicker it is, the better it is. But in some scenarios, if he's very squishy and you don't need him to be that quick, then you can make some uh, adjustments between enemies, I suppose. But yeah, that's about it. So if you guys did enjoy this video, you should leave a like and you should also subscribe. And you should have a nice day. Otherwise, I will be angry with you. So have a nice day. Thanks.